Canadian researchers say they found an inexpensive way to detect awareness in people who were thought to be in a vegetative state. Previous tests have shown that some patients who appear to be in that condition do respond to their surroundings. Now, doctors have an easier way to find out. Health reporter Kelly Crow has that story. A motorcycle accident left Denton Snaith unable to move, speak or communicate in any way. In medical terms, a persistent vegetative state. But his mother says she talks to him by watching the way he blinks his eyes. Do you like a glass of milk? It's a nightmare scenario to be trapped inside your body, uh, but unable to tell anybody that that's the situation. These researchers have proven the nightmare could be true for almost one-fifth of people in vegetative states. And they were able to show us that they were aware, despite the fact that their diagnosis suggested the complete opposite. The proof? When they compared their brain scans with healthy volunteers, the same areas of the brain lit up when they were asked to imagine moving their hand and their toes. Tests perform using equipment that fits into a suitcase, cheap and portable enough to travel to the bedside of patients and begin to penetrate their inner world. Do they know what the year is? Do they know who the people around them are? Other possible questions to patients, are they in pain? Perhaps even difficult ethical questions like do they wish to live or die? That's a very tricky question just because a patient can show that they are conscious it doesn't mean that we know everything about their inner mental world. At the very least, the research suggests doctors should assume some patients do know what's going on around them. It should always be considered, I think, by physicians at the bedside of such patients with regard to what is said and with regard to um, uh, both positive and negative things that may be discussed in the presence of the patient who may be able to process some of what is, is being said. The biggest challenge has been fighting the attitude that his life isn't worth caring for. An attitude that could change if this research someday leads to technology that lets people like Denton Snaith speak once again for themselves. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.